Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles that you'll face in the outcome of that situation. Um, please make sure that um, you remember the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of someone that you're dealing with. Also remember... This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. But if it does, please like and subscribe below, should you so choose. I appreciate it, Pisces. So I keep seeing the Eight of Swords for you guys. So it's like maybe there's some, you know, some confusion around the situation. Um, not knowing how to move forward. Could have been a marriage here, some type of connection. Alright, so the situation at hand, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Wands. This is a message about two people coming together, talking, seeing things eye to eye. This is uh, could be a marriage, but some type of um, deep commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles. Something that makes you feel good. Um, family, home, stability. So there could be some good messages coming in about that. Um, so if you guys have been feeling a little stuck up in your head... Um, kind of confused and not knowing, you know, where things are at or where things are standing. I think there is some messages here, whether you're sending this or not. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, could be an Aquarius here. But we have the world, the star, the six of wands, and the two of swords. So... <clears throat> there are some choices, some decisions that have to be made, but somebody sees this as their happiness, their wish fulfillment, and they're wanting to come back around and start a new cycle here, whether this is you or them. Um, it's like somebody is not trying to let go of this connection. There is a decision here, a choice, possibly about how to move forward, like some some is at a crossroads, so now you got to pick that path. Which path are you going to take? This is either you or them, so take it how it resonates. But somebody is trying to figure that out. One person could be kind of holding back here. Definitely like in hangman mode, not moving. There could have been some arguments, some competition around this. I'm not sure if this is how it's been in the past. It could have been a Scorpio, but this could have ended um, before. And now somebody is trying to bring it back around. Show me this two of wands for Pisces, please. This is about, you know, and this is in the position of the obstacle or the challenge or, you know, something that you'll face. Um, so that's exactly what's being faced is you're at, you're at this crossroads. So now which path do you take? So we got the world and the six of wands popped out again. So we're going to leave them there because somebody is um, wanting to kind of in the old way of things and start a new cycle go towards their victory something that makes them very happy um for some of you guys this could be a job offer that's going to lead to something extremely abundant you could be um you know getting recognized at work kind of being seen in the public eye for something here this could be travel um but um I'm not really looking at this as a as a work reading this is something you've kind of, you know, gone in and did some thinking about some type of reflection. But this is for sources, something, you know, that'll bring healing or someone is healing, possibly making a decision here about a connection. But you may have more than one person here that you're trying to make a decision between. Um, and that's why you got to choose this path. Like you're at the crossroads. So which, what are you going to choose for your happiness? Or someone, you know, is trying to. Show me the Seven of Cups for the outcome for Pisces for the immediate future. This is about options, choices, decisions. Damn. Alright. So with this decision, it's, it's like um, something's getting rejected. You're definitely possibly having an epiphany here, an aha moment. And it's like you're cutting something out. You are ending something because you're going forward towards your victory here. This goes all the way back to what I said in the beginning. And this is in the position of the outcome. There are choices here. 
It's like something has came to a crossroads and it's time to make that decision. And um, somebody is going forward towards their victory here. And that, that means um, ending an old cycle to begin a new one. And that's in the position of the outcome. So I don't know if you're having an epiphany, a realization, you know, but you're cutting something out. There is an ending here for somebody. They're just like fed up. It's my fed up card, kind of bored and not interested here. So, um, you know, this, this could have been, you know, a very strong connection here. Somebody was feeling good about it and trying to send that message, but it's like, it's, it's at a decision time. So which path, you know, do you choose? And this is someone having options and choices at the end for the outcome. So there is some clarity. There is. Uh, they could be speaking the truth because we did have the Knight of Swords pop out. But this is an ending. You are ending something. I feel like to go forward towards your victory here because you're just, you're fed up with whatever this is. Whatever this drama is. Yeah, somebody could be spying. But this is just the Page of Swords. I kind of feel like there's a lot of determined energy here. It is just a page, but I feel like this is a mess. This is this message not being um, really responded to because somebody is just fed up. They, you see, this is over. However, this is resonating because we have opposites here. We have, um, you know, something that was stable, something that was mutual, home life. Somebody was feeling good possibly sending a message but the problem is the obstacle is this is at a crossroads so I, this i don't feel like this is anything new there's a decision that has to be made here possibly you know between two choices two paths and that's here for your outcome so there is an ending one cycle to begin another one um because someone is going towards their victory they're healing kind of just peacing out so for the outcome, it's just that. Here is those choices. And here is that cycle ending. It's like um, very clear communication coming out. Um, it may not come out in the most friendly manner here. And somebody's just fed up here for the outcome. There is a new cycle starting though here. Um... I feel like this is with you. I see the High Priestess as a Pisces card, but this is about, you know, somebody kind of keeping it to themselves, though. So I'm not sure if you're starting something new or somebody around you is, but the High Priestess is about intuition, but it's about things that are unseen. You know, like if you're starting a project or a new, you know, a new anything, keeping it to yourself, holding back. So... There is a cycle ending here for you. There's some truths coming out. Yeah. So now we have two aces on the board. It's like somebody is starting something new. And there's worry. There's anxiety around that. Um, kind of stress in this. I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. But, oh, we have three aces out here now in the position of the outcome. So it's like something is ending so something new can begin. Just like this world card suggests. So, Pisces. That's what I have for you guys. Hmm. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. With the Six of Cups, someone, you know, from your past trying to come back but this is a good message a good offer um so possibly you know you're making that decision on how to move forward here but you're ending something while at the same time something new is beginning the wheel of fortune is destiny it's fate the wheel is emotion there's no stopping it you know how the world and the wheel of fortune but the wheel of fortune is a good luck card so i don't really see this ending as something that is hurting you. I think you've gone. It could be a Virgo you're dealing with. But you've gone within. You've done a lot of reflection. 
and you're walking away from this, but you are walking away towards something new. Somebody, this is an ending for sure, but I don't feel like it's a painful one for you. We don't have any cards to really indicate that. The most painful card here, well, I see this as an ending. I don't necessarily see it as hurting you. Like, we have no heavy healing cards. We have no heavy sad cards here. We have going within and figuring things out, peacing out for a little bit. There may be a little bit of worry, a little bit of stress around this ending. But I don't feel so much as it's painful. As much as maybe it's necessary. I don't know. Because, you know, there's a whole lot of newness here starting. So I feel like it's more just fed up instead of sad and emotional. Yeah, so you're just holding back. There's not, like, a whole lot of cards that make me feel like... You're really sad here. I mean, even going down this far, I don't see sadness and stuff isn't until all the way down here. So I don't feel like this is affecting you emotionally right now. Possibly you're the one that's, you know, wanting this. All right, Pisces, hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.